Good morning everybody, Steve Velocity here. And I finally got to the place where I can do our chicken run door. We have been having some really hot August weather and it's sapping our strength. So we're having to do things here and there. Today there is a 20% chance of rain now, 50 by noon, and uh, I think 70% by 4 p.m. So we got just enough time to build the door to hang it for the chicken run and maybe do some roofing I'm not sure so what you see here is these are the cedar pieces that I got from the uh, crates when I first started the pallet shed build and so I've had them stored in my garage and finally now I'm bringing them out they're cedar they're gonna hold up really well to the weather and basically I'll give you a little layout here we only have a four foot by four foot piece of hardware cloth, which is gonna go over the top of the, um, the door. And then on the bottom, because the hardware cloth is expensive, I'm just gonna go ahead and either use this cedar or some other lightweight, lightweight wood, and I'm gonna put it on the bottom here. Real simple build. And then we're gonna stick with this rustic look and we're going to go ahead and just use these L clamps or corner clamps right there in the corners. And then we'll true it up and make sure it's all square um, before we nail these boards on right here. So you can see that I've also got these old hinges. All this came from one of the decks that I had taken apart. I and mean, we're slowly using a lot of this stuff. They're pretty heavy duty and I think this door's it's not going to be super ultra light but it's not going to be super ultra heavy either. So we're going to see how this works out. Um, shouldn't take long to build it. As soon as we're ready to hang it we'll take it out there and let you look at it and uh, then after that we'll uh, let you see after it's hung. And also thanks for watching. Howdy YouTubers, it's uh, Steve Velocity again. Hey, I told you a little fib. I said we were going to show you the door before we hung it. But we ran into some problems, so uh, just decided to go ahead and get the job done. So that is the chicken run door. And now the final thing we have to do now is the roof. But you can see it turned out pretty good. Not perfect. Uh, what I did is I did the cedar up here and everything was made of cedar in the frame like I showed before but we had to deviate a little bit with this wood right here and that was just some pine that we had got at Home Depot for like 70% off somebody had returned it so I think my wife wants to go ahead and paint that we have a little touch up to do to the hinges those hinges came off of the uh, like I think I said before the deck that we had gotten on Craigslist we had gotten this from Craigslist and that was pretty cool so uh, let's see got to undo this all right so we went ahead and installed a spring tension device so that when we go in there this thing's going to close itself boom and it latches and then so we don't lock ourselves in here I sure hope this works. It worked for my wife. So, got a little washer and a string. And boom. Now I get out. So, and that worked out pretty good too. If you look in the corner, we went ahead and took those angle brackets. And put those in each corner. And uh, a little Stevie rig in here. I just took a... Uh, piece of cedar there and I shimmed it up so that it actually made the door true um, what I had to do I didn't have full stock I didn't have a full 16 inch piece so I had to go ahead and do this you can see where I butted the two together and so it took a little bit to true it up and uh, we got the chicken or the hardware cloth in there as you can see I'm pretty pleased with it my wife went ahead and put the uh, paving stone on the bottom and you can see it's fairly true had a little bit of a problem up top there uh, so the door is just a little off but hey look at the material I used 
And the fact is, is that this stuff set out in the rain for probably two months. And then it set on my garage floor and I got to it just in time. It was just starting to, I could see the slightest twisting in some of, some of them. So I went ahead and took the best of the best. Now we added a header up here. We're going to put some uh, one by six stock that's going to run from here all the way up to the back there. And we've got our corrugated, we have clear and green so that the chickens are going to get a skylight effect. Uh, picked up a couple more paving stones. Today we just did some finishing touches on the security. You know, you see some uh, pressure treated there along the back. So now nothing's going to get into the bottom section and the chickens are going to run around in there and they're going to run around in there and we are almost ready for chickens we are so ready because it's been so hot september is going to cool off and then we're going to move them in five star chicken hotel uh-huh yeah that's hot diggity dog diggy so we want to appreciate you guys looking at the youtube video uh i know there's a lot of people out there and there are a lot of videos that are better than what we're doing but what we're doing we're enjoying and we're hoping that other people are learning something from us i know we've learned a lot from other youtubers so we're going to go ahead and probably do another video tomorrow afternoon we got clear skies coming tomorrow and then we're going to be pretty much done with this part of the project so thanks again for watching and Steve Velocity is out.